Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So if you're reading the title of this video, yes, I'm going to use products that I've forgotten about or just never reach for. A lot of these products I used to use heaps like a few years ago and pretty much I have forgotten about them. They've just been pushed to the back of my drawers. My makeup collection is pretty big so it's easy to forget about certain products. So I thought why not dig through my drawers today, find those products and do a makeup look with them. What I'm trying to get out of this video is to maybe rediscover my love for these products but I could also maybe hate them now like I've got no idea. I know there's some products that I don't think I'll necessarily love like I used to because some of these products are quite old and I used to use them when I hadn't tried out many other products if that makes sense. But anyway let me know if you guys enjoy the concept of this video and give the video a thumbs up. It's not a new concept. I've seen heaps of people do these. I was just inspired to film one because I've seen heaps of people do it and I love watching these videos because they remind me of products I have forgotten about. If you guys are new here don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell button so you guys are notified every Every time I upload new videos and let's get started with the makeup. So the first product I've got is really really old. I've got the e.l.f. eyebrow kit and I used to always use this. Um, this one's in the shade medium. I'm not sure how the tone is going to go with my hair. This is one of those products I used to really love and then I just kind of forgot about it and it got pushed to the back of my drawer. But I don't know if I will love it as much now just because I tend to use a lot of benefit products and I love their powders and pencils. So I don't know, taste does change, especially when you use so much makeup over the years. You guys should feel lucky because I never do my brows on camera. I think I might go in with the wax first. It doesn't feel very waxy anymore, it feels dry. Probably need to throw it in the bin, it's probably disgusting, but it's fine. I think I'll only use the wax on the tail end because it is pretty dark and from memory it was quite pigmented so I don't want like really really dark block brows. To be honest I don't think the wax is coming off all that well but that's definitely because it's old so I'm not going to judge it too hard. I was thinking about doing an e.l.f. one brand tutorial. I did one years ago but taste has definitely changed since then as well. But if there's any like e.l.f. products you would like to see me use just let me know and I might just collect everything and film a whole video using it all. I'm going to go in with the powder now. The powder has quite a lot of pigment to it. I can definitely tell this powder is not my tone. It's got like a very warm undertone to it. I've just cleaned up this brow with a bit of concealer. I'm doing the same to this eyebrow now. And I'm just using my Essence Stay All Day Concealer. This one is pretty old and almost empty as well. So this will probably go in the bin after I've used it today. I haven't used this concealer in forever. The only thing I don't like about it is that it oxidizes quite dark. So it goes on pretty light and then after a while it just gets a bit dark and orange. The next product I've got is the BYS Brow Fix. I have never reached for it or used it so this is my first time trying it. The wand is pretty large. I would definitely prefer a smaller wand for a brow gel but the product itself might be really good so we'll give it a go today. I do have to say I still think the e.l.f. brow powder is pretty good especially for the price. The gel is very dry because it's old like I said before. If you're after a good affordable like brow product I would still buy it. I think I'm just really impressed with the pigmentation of the powder because some real like cheap brow products they just don't adhere to the skin whereas this one does. I guess the real test with that brow product is to see if my eyebrow hairs fall down throughout the time of filming or throughout the day so if they stay up during this time I will let you guys know in the description if they have like fallen down. The next product I've got I feel like everyone has used it at least once. This is the MAC Pro Longwear Paint Pot and I've got the shade Soft Ochre. I also used to use Painterly which is the more pink tone shade. I still have a fair bit in this pot but it is a little bit old so I'm hoping again it hasn't dried out too much. If not I might put a little bit of Duraline in it from Inglot which is like a product that rehydrates stuff. I'm not sure if that would work but I'm sure it wouldn't hurt it. From memory I used to set it down with a powder before using like eyeshadow but I feel like I don't need to do that because the product is quite dry. I'm sure if you go back to like my older videos I use it 
every single time. I remember being so excited for this product to launch in Australia. This is the Too Faced Sweet Peach Palette and I believe I've only used it maybe four or five times in the time that I bought it. That's what the inside looks like if you haven't seen it before. There was a lot of hype around this palette. Everyone wanted it just because it was so beautifully cute and it smelled like peaches. Smelling it now, it's very artificial. It's not a scent I would direct myself to. I think I was so excited to buy it because everyone else was so excited to buy it because I didn't really use it that much. I did a few videos with it and then it just disappeared in my drawer and I never touched it again. I think I'm going to be a basic ass bitch and do a warm smoky eye or something like that. I think I want to start off with this light peachy shade. I'm going to start blending this in the crease and I haven't set down the base just because it was pretty dry. The pigmentation is quite nice. I don't really remember having any issues with the palette or it being patchy or anything. I think I might have had a bit of trouble maybe with the purple shades, but I can't remember clearly. I'll probably have to go back and watch my own videos. I think I really need to make an effort to like pull products out that I haven't used in forever. Does anybody have like a good eye that they do eyeshadow on? Because I feel like this eye is always my good eye and this one's just, I don't know. It's the ugly like stepsister of my eyes or something. I feel like shadows always look better on this one than they do this one. This is also like my lazy side, like my eyebrow just doesn't really move. I'm going to take a little bit of Georgia, which is a really light pink, just on the same brush and I'm going to blend out that edge a little bit more. I'm going to go in with Summer Yum and I'm going to pat this on the outer corner. This is a very warm tone brown and just bring it up into the crease. And now I'm just going to take a more fluffy brush and blend that all out. I didn't realize how intense this shade was going to appear on my eyes. It's very pigmented, but also very smooth. It's blended out really nice. I'm going to go into White Peach for my brow bone. For my lid shade, I think I might use this luscious shade. It's very beautiful. I just dampened my brush because the base is pretty dry under here. That shade is so beautiful. I feel like I need to use this palette more. I feel like you can create really like beautiful looks with it. And that lid shade, I'm in love. I think for my inner corner, I'll use Nectar. The next product I've got is this Mud Liquid Liner. I can't really remember using this. If you can hear any noise in the background, it's actually the kettle. This room is like right next to the kitchen, so just ignore it. Jared's obviously making some coffee or something. And I'm not stopping for him, so I'm just gonna keep going. The liner is nice and black, but the little like wand or tip on it is very short. So I feel like I have to get like super close. So for my mascara today, I've got the Ciate Wonder Wand Mascara and I used to have a little like mini version of this mascara and I used it all up, but I have never used this one and it's probably been sitting in my drawers for probably well over a year. It's also never been opened, so I'm going to open it now. I don't know if it's going to be like exactly the same as the mini version because I heard some people say the mini version was better than the bigger one. I'm not sure why, but apparently. I'll just give my lashes a quick little curl. I do remember this formula. It was really nice and like kind of dry, so it'd hold your lashes up. It's very, very nice. And for my lashes today, I'm going to use the iLua 202 lashes. I used to use these all the time. These are the lashes I would wear when I would go out. These ones and Glam by Manicare Adriana lashes. These were my go-tos. I saw these in Priceline the other day and I was like, 
I have to pick them up for this video because I haven't used them in such a long time. So I'm going to use these ones today. I've got the lashes on. I still really like these lashes. I don't know if they're my favorite anymore, but I do still really like them and they really like open up my eyes. The next thing I've got is primer and this primer is actually discontinued. I believe they rebranded it kind of and brought out a new version. I think I've got it in my drawer, um, but this is the L'Oreal Lumi Magic Base. I'm not sure how much is in here. It doesn't feel like there's much product in here. Let's see if it's okay and not separated. Okay, it's not separated. There's still product. I used to use this all the time. This primer was like all the rage on YouTube and I do have the other version but it is different. It's not exactly the same. This one's really glowy and the other one's quite um, metallic almost. It still feels nice and like smells nice. The next product is one that I used to use all the time and this is my MAC Studio Fix Fluid. I've got so many bottles of this foundation because I just used to buy it in all different colors. I feel like the reason I did stop using this is because it is quite a heavy matte formula and it does break me out as well, but I'm going to sacrifice my skin today to wear it. I'm not sure what color I'm going to be. This one's really yellow. This one might be a little bit better. This one's in the color C. 3.5. I don't know what that means, but it doesn't look as yellow. Oh my god, I love the smell of this foundation. I know a lot of people don't like it. They say it smells like paint, but this is like memories for me. Oh, it's so good. We'll try this color out anyway. I'm just going to dot it on. I do have um, fake tan on. I don't think it's the perfect color for my fake tan, but it's not terrible. I feel like the more I'm putting on, the color match doesn't look too bad, actually. Okay, so my mic died and I didn't even realize. You can see I'm like chatting away here and I've got no idea. Um, I used my Urban Decay All Nighter Concealer. I can't remember the color, um, but for anything that you need to know about, I'll have it down below in the description. So I'm just going to apply that concealer under my eyes, around my nose, on my chin. Um, and then I'm going to use the NYX No Filter Powder. Again, not sure on the shade because <laughs> I'm just watching this video of myself and I can't hear what I'm saying. So I'm going to apply that under the eye. And then I'm going to use my Derma Blend powder. I don't really like this powder. I haven't used it in forever. It kind of leaves a bit of a white cast, and that's why I don't like it. So I thought I would give it a go today. And I'm going to brush that off. I feel very puffed out. I don't like doing voiceovers. I'm going to use this The Balm palette, and I'm going to use this to bronze and kind of contour my face. I'm also going to use the blush out of this palette. And for my highlighter, I'm going to use this Becca Skin Perfector. I think it's called, it's just a highlighter. And this one's in the shade Opal. And then after that, I'm just going to finish off the eyes. I'm just going to run those shades on my lower lash line and put some mascara on. I can't believe my mic died and I didn't notice at all. So, I'm so sorry that my mic died. I'm honestly pissed off because I don't like watching videos with voiceover. I feel like it's more personal when, you know, I'm talking to you as I'm filming. For eyeliner, I've got the Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On Eye Pencil. Mm, this one's in the shade Rockstar. I always forget that I've got these pencils, but they're actually so good and creamy. This shade is kind of like a plummy shade and I'm only going to use it on the outer corners here. I don't want to make it like too dark. I guess we can move on to the last thing. I don't know if this lip color is going to work that well, but I've got the Bare Minerals Under Over Lip Liner in the color Attitude. It's like the biggest fucking eyeliner. I'm going to line my lips with this and then put like a nude on to try and lighten it up.
For my lipstick, I've got the Too Faced lipstick in the color Birthday Suit. I was only talking about these the other day in my declutter video. If you guys want to check that out, I'll put it down below and I'll put it up here as well. I love these lipsticks, but I don't use them. I don't know why, because they're super wearable. I just need to put them somewhere where I can see them. I don't know if this is going to look okay or I'm going to look stupid. We're going for kind of a 90s inspired lip today. I guess this is what the makeup look has turned out like. I really like it because it's a very basic bitch Shanae go-to look. Warm tone, smoky eye and nude lip. How could you go wrong? In terms of products that I would definitely start using again, I think I would definitely start using the NYX No Filter Powders again. It's made my skin look really nice and smooth. I still really love the MAC Studio Fix Fluid, but yeah, I have to see if it ends up breaking me out or not. I just remember it used to make my skin really bad but if that doesn't happen it looks so nice and really flawless i really need to use this becca highlighter more it's really beautiful as well maybe i should talk about the things that i don't want to use again i probably won't use this elf eyebrow kit again only because it's old i think i'm going to throw this away but if i do an elf video i'll probably pick it up again and i would use it i don't think i'd use the urban decay all nighter concealer again it's not my favorite. It's very dry and kind of cakey. What else don't I like? I can't think of anything. I love the lipstick. Um, I love the mascara. I love the eyeshadow palette. I really need to use this more. This is another one that's really good. The pigmentation is beautiful and it blended out really easily. Honestly, I didn't think I would really like this like again, but I do. It was really nice and smooth, blendable, pigmented. So yeah, I'll probably start using that again. I think the only other thing I can think of is the Derma Blend Powder. I don't know if I'd use that again. It's not my favorite. It's a shame because it was very expensive as well for a drugstore powder. I think I'd definitely use this paint pot again. It did a really good job. It always has done a good job. I'll probably just need to rehydrate it with um, the Duraline, but I can't think of anything else. If there was anything I truly didn't like or don't feel like I'm going to use again, I feel like I would think of it. But if you guys have any questions on anything that I've used today, you can leave them down below. If I feel like I need to update you guys on anything, I will pin it maybe, or I'll put it in the description. One more thing that I probably won't use again is the mud liner. It's just not that good. The tip on it's really short, so I felt like I had to like really get in there. And it started like drying out when I was getting to my wings, so I won't be using that one again. But other than that, there's nothing else. Please subscribe, like the video, and yeah, come follow me on Instagram and Twitter, and I'll see you guys really soon in my next one. Bye.